All right, so I just made a video last night about Target not selling the Pokemon cards anymore or the sports cards, and chances are they're probably going to get rid of the whole card section. So even Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, the card sleeves, the top loaders, guys, everything's gone. And today I'm going to be responding to a video that basically explains the exact reason why they had to completely stop selling trading cards. Police responded to a fight in the Target parking lot. <sighs> Not the parking lot. Pulled a gun on a group of men attacking him over sports trading cards. <sighs> no. Police arrested the four accused attackers and say the man who pulled the gun is a concealed carry permit holder. That's good, man, dude. That concealed carry permit just paid for itself for the rest of his life. Oh my god, that that's so crazy. I mean, good good on him for saying strapped, I guess, but. Jeez, over sports cards, guys. Y'all need to chill. At least it wasn't Pokemon. Let me say that. Oh, if this was Pokemon, this would have been so viral. Seriously hurt. <laughs> the Target and Trader Joe's nearby were on lockdown for about an hour. An hour, guys. That's so crazy. Because, like, I literally did a video last night about them not doing Pokemon or any cards at all. This is probably part of the reason. Like a whole hour. That's so bad. People looking for sports cards just skyrocketed. Yes, Talk sir. An expert here in Brookfield who says it's all about supply and demand. That's <laughs> oh, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't just say supply and demand. <laughs> That's so bad. I keep trying to get away from this phrase. Every time I go to TikTok or YouTube or anywhere talking about cards. Whenever you want to seem smart, you just hit them up with the it's just supply and demand, baby. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Scarcity that's driven up the price of a box of new cards like this one above four hundred dollars. Damn. The majority of it they're doing it for return on investment. So that's the gambling part of it. It can be so it's almost like the golden ticket Willy Wonka uh, theory. Except imagine, instead of just the Willy Wonka, like, you open a box, it's just, you keep the box sealed, and you flip that. And the whole card section is just golden tickets. <laughs> That's so crazy. You put certain cards that are really tough to get, and there's big value, they're hard to get, but you might get it. The owner of Jeff Sports says COVID-related production cuts combined with people spending more time at home rekindling their interest in collecting and sharing it with their kids have led to intense competition for what... $140? Oh my god. Have y'all seen this? Did y'all know that UFC had Panini cards? That's so crazy. And for six packs. Oh, I don't know about this, guys. I, <laughs> I might just not be getting into sports cards ever. That's so crazy. What new cards there are. Oh, the man. has gone so far as to limit new card releases to once a week, Friday mornings at 8 a.m. with a one-box limit. When was this posted? It's the 13th right now. It was posted on the 7th. Oh, my God. It's been like barely a week, and they already updated their policy on this. That's so crazy. It's common to have 50-plus people standing in line all day, six to eight hours, waiting to see if they can get one box of cards. Man, dude. A box they can turn around and sell for <laughs> easily five times what they paid for. <laughs> Don't show off the commander decks, not the magic cards. Man, imagine being the goon who ends up trying to get the commander decks. For Magic the Gathering to flip. Bro, these do not flip. Oh, man. After the incident here, Target tells 12 News they are reevaluating their protocols, quote, to ensure safety at our store. Damn, dude. Brookfield, Nick Ford, WISN. That is so ridiculous, guys. But hey, y'all wanted the real answer? This may have been one of the incidents. This may have been the reason why they just stopped selling the cards. Well, hopefully y'all liked the video. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a sub. If you made it this far in the in the video, you might as well leave a sheesh in the comments, all right, guys? So that I know y'all made it this far into the video. Hopefully, you guys liked it, and uh, see y'all later.